Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I have some super cool stuff to talk about and I'm so excited to share it on camera. I have an Ulta haul ahead of us, so we're gonna see all the fun products that I got to purchase and I have even more exciting news about it. I paid nothing for all of this that you are about to see. All of this was granted to me with my Ulta Platinum Perks Rewards points that I have transferred into dollars and all of this was purchased with that. So you are about to witness $250 worth of makeup that I did not buy. This was all just kind of free extra stuff that I've been wanting to try, um, things that I wanted to restock on, and things that I really wanted to do first impressions on on my channel for you all to see that I have seen other YouTubers do, that it looks so much fun, and the product just looks so worth it, so I decided to give a couple of new things a go. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump right in and let's start looking through these products. So I purchased some new foundations, I purchased some concealers, I purchased some eyeshadow, highlighters, some cleansing products, some just a little bit of everything. I got a nice mix of everything and I'm so excited to show you all and I'm so excited. So be on the lookout. It won't be in this video, but over the course of the next few videos that you'll see me post, look out for some first impressions because I have about five different videos planned with the things that I bought today. Some things I'm gonna kinda intertwine in the same video and some I'm gonna separate them out because they are the same product. Not like, if for example, there's like multiple foundations and I'm not gonna do them in the same video, if that makes sense. So, I've got my Ulta box here. Ah! I'm so excited. It's literally been a couple of months since I bought some new makeup. So, it's not been that long, so I, sh I shouldn't act like this. Um, first off, we'll start off with some kind of like primers, facial waters, that sort of thing. And I got this Mario Badescu Skin Care. This one is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This one smells amazing. I did purchase the 8 ounce one. Um, and I think I threw my packing slip away, so I can't tell you how much all of this costs, but... Everything was purchased at Ulta, so you can get on Ulta.com and you can look up the prices if there's something that you're interested in. As well, I will leave everything linked down below with an exact link where you can purchase it if you choose to do so. But anyway, I am so excited about this. I have seen so many people rave about the Mario Badescu skincare, and I have not tried any of it yet, so I'm super excited to give this one a try um, based on the smell and based on reviews that I've read on it. I really think that I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, this one looks fun. I did purchase another kind of primer water. This one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. This one was the um, collab with Nicole Concilio. And I'm really excited to give this one a try. They had three different scents. This one smells... I kind of wish I would have got another one, but I'm excited to give it a try. I'm not going to knock it just on the smell. It kind of has an old lady smell, to be honest. Nothing against old ladies, but it has that that kind of... You know what I'm talking about. You know when someone says that old lady smell, you have that certain scent that just pops to mind. That's, that's that one for me. <laughs> anyway... Next up, I bought this from Physicians Formula. This is the Rose All Day Oil-Free Serum. Brightens and tightens your skin. That's what this one is. I'm super excited to try this with a foundation that I got. Um, the smell of this one is very nice. That is just a summertime smell. That's exactly what that puts me in mind of. And I'm super excited to give this one a go. When I looked at this online, I really thought that it was going to be like an oil, kind of like the Frisali. I thought that was going to be kind of a dupe for that. But when I opened it for the first time and kind of gave it a smell, um, I was surprised to see that it was more of on the cream base, which does not bother me because sometimes the oils make me look too oily. So I'm really excited to give this one a try and see how this one works for my skin. Um, I have not seen anyone use this yet. I've not seen any reviews on it. I just saw it and I thought, hey, I'm in the market for just some new primers, so I'll give this one a try. Plus, they had a sale, like a buy one, get one half off in the Physicians Formula. So I had something else that I wanted to get with it. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to lie. There was a couple of things I was a little disappointed in. Um, 
this that I'm about to show you is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Mild. And I don't know if they send these like with the pump easy to just pop off so it doesn't squirt out everywhere because I know where I work we have some kind of packaging things that are like that so it doesn't just destroy the product and you don't lose the product. But I was kind of um, wondering if it was that sort of thing with it or if it was just they sent me something that was broke. But I got this. I love this stuff by the way. I use this on a regular basis. I actually just ran out so I did decide to purchase some more um, while I kind of had the opportunity to do so and I didn't really have to pay for it so it was a win-win for me um, and it happened at perfect timing but also if you have dry skin if you have very sensitive skin like myself this is amazing to use and I actually I've not got it ready I've not kind of got the ball rolling on it yet but I am going to be um, filming a skincare video kind of my nightly routine and morning routine just kind of combining those together so you all see how I treat my skin of a night and of a morning um, it's going to be a really good tip for you dry, sensitive skin people out there. Um, but I will be using this. This is what I use just about every night. This and the Purity by Philosophy. But I have a, a bunch of that. I still have a whole nother big bottle of it. So I wanted to repurchase this because I do really like both of them. But yes, I was kind of um, concerned as to if they sent me something that was broke. I don't know. But then I saw this, which I got the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Mine was in 100 Molten Gold, but when I pulled it out of the packaging, I was so excited to give this a try because I use the same two highlighters over and over and over. If you are, you know, a frequent watcher on my channel, you know that it's the L'Oreal Paris or the Tarte palette. I don't really switch it up and use any other highlighters. So when I found one that I wanted to buy and I found a good deal on it and plus I didn't have to pay for it, I was like, yes, I got another highlighter. But it comes in the mail like this. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. Look at that. Do you see that crap? I was pissed. And where we live, we don't have an Ulta near us. The closest Ulta is like an hour and a half away. So I don't really want to drive for something that I paid five bucks for that technically was free. So I was thinking, I'm just going to put like some alcohol, like rubbing alcohol in it and see if I can't compact it together. But anyway, I was kind of pushing on it anyway, and I was trying to move them back into the shape where they were. And I'm not crazy about the color. I wish I would have got the more kind of um, silvery looking one. On the picture online, this one looked really cute, but once I kind of swatched it, not really meaning to, kind of pushing the pieces back together, I wasn't too impressed with the payoff. And I put some on my cheek and I was like, whoa. I am too pale to go that kind of orangey look. But I'm not going to knock it just yet. I'm going to try some rubbing alcohol with it and try to compact it back together and give it a real shot um, and not over top of makeup that I have already worn for like 10 hours that day. So I'm not going to knock it just yet. We are going to give it another chance. Um, anyway, let's see here. Next, I got this L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glow Shin. Ooh. Natural Glow Enhancer. Mine is in the shade 901 Fair Glow. That is what it looks like. It's a very kind of iridescent pink when you pull it out. I'm really wanting to use this one as a nice primer. I even thought maybe use it as a highlighter kind of over top, especially if there was a day where I didn't want to wear a lot of makeup. If I wanted to do something natural, I thought this would be perfect. Okay, and I did get some concealers. I got this one from the L'Oreal Paris New True Match Super Blendable Concealer. Mine is in the shade Warm or Fair slash Light Warm is what it is. This is what it looks like. And when you open it up, ooh, it has an actual little brush, kind of like the little lip gloss brushes. It's kind of like that. Um, I've never had a concealer like that before, so I am excited to give it a try. I think that it'll be an okay match with some of my summer foundation because this one is a little darker, more on the yellowy tone. So I'm thinking with some of my summertime foundations that are a little bit darker, um, this one would go very nicely. And of course, they had a deal where if you buy something I'm about to show you, you get a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for $15. So I couldn't pass it up because I am almost out of mine and I did need to restock. So I did get the shade Fair is what I got and it's just the regular Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. 
Um, I don't have to do a first impressions on that. I already know how well it works. I've used it for a long time now. Which leads me to the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I did get the hydrating one because I do have dry skin. Mine is in the shade Porcelain and I am really thinking I got the wrong shade. It looks too light for me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like, it almost looks like what I would wear as concealer, but I'm not going to knock it just yet. I am going to use it in a first impressions video and see really how it wears. So I'm not going to say just yet wrong shade. Let's worry about taking it back. Let's get rid of it. No, I am going to give it a fair chance. And if for some reason it is the wrong shade, I will always just mix it with other foundations or the next time I go to pick up one, I will get a little bit darker. So, but that is, by the way, if you're wondering, this is the lightest shade that this foundation offers as of right now. Um, like I said, it is porcelain and it is very, very light. So if you are my skin tone or lighter, this one is definitely what you need to go for. Um, but if you're about actually like my skin tone or a little darker, you need to go for something a little farther down on the color spectrum rather than that one because I am worried that it is going to be more like a concealer for me, which I don't need because I already have the shape tape. Moving on, I did purchase the Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade 110 Porcelain. This one looks more my shade. I'm very excited to give this one a try. I have a lot of dewy radiant foundations that are not always full coverage. So when I saw this one back a few months ago, I really wanted to give it a shot because it is super full coverage and I have heard so many mixed reviews on it, but a lot of great reviews on it. And I am excited to try it out for myself to see just how it works. Um, but it's telling me up to 24 hours where that is crazy ridiculous crazy ridiculous I am super excited to do this on one of my wear test Wednesday videos to really show you how this guy holds up I am excited now I did purchase one more foundation because of course it was on the buy one get one half off in this brand and this one is the physicians formula the healthy foundation mine is in the shade LW2 which was light warm I'm that's how I guess um it is a little dark looking for me, so this one might end up being more of a summer foundation, but I know this is a foundation that Ashley Nicole Styles uses a lot on her channel. I have seen this in quite a few videos, and that is actually where I got the idea to purchase this one and give it a shot and see how it works for me and just let you all know on my channel what I think about it. So yes, I'm super excited about this one as well. Let's see. I have been wanting to try this for so, so, so long. And I thought since I'm running out of brow products, it's, it's, there's no better time. And I got the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm so excited to give this one a try. I really wanted to try this one and Goof Proof. But I just decided to start off with this one and then if I like it, I will purchase the Goof Proof as well. Um, I do use the Cabral on a regular basis, so I really think that I am going to like it because I love that one so much. But it does have your spoolie on one end and I love this super cool little case and how the tip of it is like this. It is so neat, so neat. And it just kind of, just retractable, rolls out. And I am so excited to give this one a try. So I feel like you all will be witnessing a lot of this in the near future on my next videos. So just be prepared for it. And I did purchase an eyeshadow palette. I have heard so many good things about this and it has a five star review on Ulta.com. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Let me open it up and show you what this beautiful little thing looks like. Oh my goodness. And it has that velvety packaging. I love the color. It is so elegant. And this is what your shades look like. Super, super cute. And I tell you, one of the most exciting things about this palette was I love, and I hate brushes that come with palettes. I absolutely hate them. But Anastasia Beverly Hills is an exception. This brush that comes in these palettes, oh my goodness, I love those brushes so, so much. 
And if you ever notice, it is like one of the only things that I use to smudge out my lower lash line and then take the other side and blend it out. That is perfect for that. So I'm so excited. I want to do a video completely dedicated to this palette doing a look with this. Um, I don't want to try out any new foundations on it. I really just want to focus on eyes when I do this video. So be on the lookout for that because I'm super excited. I have it in my mind kind of what I'm already planning to do. So yes, just look out for that video because it will be coming up. And last but not least, I purchased something because it is nearing summertime and I tan a little bit, but I don't tan that well. So I kind of need some assistance. So I wanted to give this fake bake a try. I have heard so many people rave about this. I work at Sally Beauty and I have so many people ask if we carry fake bake because Cosmoprof does. And we don't, but I've heard so many great reviews about this. People say how much they love it all the time. And I'm excited for your pale girl to get some tan skin and give it a try and fit in with the rest of everyone and just have golden skin this year. So hopefully this will get me there and I'm super excited. I do want to do a dedication video just to fake bake and kind of show you a before and after and what I think about it and if it dupes to any other tanning products that I have used in the past because there is one that I think that it might be an actual dupe for um or there's one that is a dupe for this but I want to see how they hold up compared to each other so also look out for that video because I'm super excited to finally be tan yes I'm excited but that is it for this video that is all the products that I got from Ulta and I really hope that you all enjoyed it it was so much fun just getting to spend my points and not having to pay for any of this not even shipping it was all absolutely free and I'm so 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 excited to give these products a try out here on my channel and show you all my first impressions of them I have some really great products a lot of things that I have never even used before and I cannot wait to show you guys what I think about them. But don't forget, if you're not a member at Ulta, go join. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. And every time you spend money, you accumulate points. Um, if you have an Ulta credit card, you build points faster. Once you spend X amount of money, you become platinum. And then you spend, or you earn points even faster as well. Which is how I accumulated all of this stuff and are all the points to buy all this stuff. So I hope that it gives you all inspiration to go out there, save some money, get some free stuff for every makeup purchase that you do buy. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any posts. And also, if you want to be notified every time I upload, hit that notification bell down there beside the subscribe button because you won't be disappointed. I have all kinds of videos on all things beauty, and I would love to have you stick around and watching all of them. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.